In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. <clears throat> My dear friend, I'm sure you are well. This Tuesday, and today we pray for strength. Dear Lord, your word says that when we wait on you, you will renew our strength. Although our strength is depleted, we are choosing to rest and spend time in your presence, recharging our batteries. We refuse to run ourselves ragged, listening to the voice of the enemy that we should just try harder or work. Or work longer. We trust in your infinite capacity of strength. It will never run out. Thank you for working in our weaknesses and pouring your strength into us. Thank you for reminding us that shall be well, even in areas where the world has already confirmed to us that it will never work. Thank you for renewing our strength in areas where we felt like giving up and even resigning out of life. Give us the strength to always follow you and to do the best with the energy that you've given unto us. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Tuesday. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're very well. It is Tuesday, the seventh day of November in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2023. Today we are on day 10 in our... 25 days November for our candidates. And as I told you, I'll be telling you what our kids are doing in school. Today, the 7th of November, from 8 to 10.30, mathematics. Mathematics. Uh, that should be paper one or something. Yes, uh, because the mathematics are A, L, A. Mathematics in the morning and in the afternoon, English comprehension literary apprehension and grammar mm -hmm. i love this so that is tuesday 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 and we said as you pray so if you know that your son or your daughter struggles with mathematics today is the day to pray for that paper don't just pray for exams pray for mathematics that is called specific prayer and also pray for english comprehension do that that's what we shall be praying every day. Every day we pray with specific papers so that because our sons are different, our daughters are different. Maybe your son is good in chemistry for yesterday's paper, but uh, doing very poor in mathematics. Today it is your day to intercede for your son, for your daughter, for this specific paper. Thank you. Luke chapter 14 verses 15 to 24. That is where our gospel passage comes from today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When one of those who sat at a table with him heard this, he said to him, Blessed is he who shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. But he said to him, A man once gave a great banquet and invited many and at the time for the banquet he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited come for all is now ready but they all alike began to make excuses the first said to him i have bought a field and I must go out and see it. I pray you, have me excused. And another said, 
I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them. I pray you have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported this to his master. Then the householder, in anger, said to his servant, Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in the poor and maimed and blind and lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges, and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who are invited shall taste my banquet. The Gospel of our Lord. Now, the context for today's gospel passage is Jesus participating in a banquet where he advised the host to reserve admission to the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind. And so, to become eligible for God's reward at the resurrection, one of Jesus' fellow guests commented on the blessedness of those who are invited to attend the heavenly banquet hosted by Yahweh to honor his chosen people, Jesus used the occasion to highlight the cost of refusing God's invitation for the heavenly banquet with lame excuses by telling a parable to a banquet hosted by a very rich and influential lad owner. The invited VIP guests who had accepted the first invitation to participate in the banquet refused the second invitation sent a few days before the banquet giving lame excuses like the inspection of a newly bought field, the testing of a newly bought five yoke of oxen, and honeymooning with a newly married wife. The angry lad owner instructed his servants to invite everyone in the surrounding areas in order to fill the banquet hall. Jesus directed this parable to the Jewish religious and civic leaders who had accepted the covenant but had refused to accept his invitation for God's salvation, the end point of the first covenant, and had attacked his preaching and healing ministry. Jesus explained through this parable, why he was befriending tax collectors and sinners, promising them eternal salvation and participation in the heavenly banquet. My dear friend, God invites us through Jesus and his church to the banquet of the word of God to the banquet of the body and blood of Jesus, and to the banquet of his grace through his Holy Spirit via the sacraments. Let us examine ourselves and to discover whether we too are refusing God's invitation and giving lame excuses to show how busy we are because of our work or career duties our addictions to games, entertainment, and hobbies, or our preoccupation with family matters. We may not get a better chance or more opportunities to accept God's invitation to pray deeply, to join the Eucharistic celebration, or to do serious study of the reflection on the Word of God or service 
in the community. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Tuesday. Thank you.